just make the first one DJ store. American DJ product I'd like to show you today, the Octobeam RGBW. To be honest with you, when I saw this on the American DJ website, I just dismissed it. I thought it was a bit naff, but I've had to eat my words. Um, I just thought it was a bit old school. My dad used to have a disco in the 70s and 80s, and man, there was just pin spots all over that disco. The old halogen bulb pin spots. And he had rows of them, he had rows of three, he had rows of six, he tried, oh, he, just, he was covered in pin spots. And um, I thought it was just going to look like that, this thing. Um, unfortunately, I'm about to hear words. Um, I love it. Right, what is it? It has got on, well, you want to have a look at it, don't you? Right? Single bar, eight little LED lights. These produce a red, a green, a blue, and a white beam. They don't change, so that's red, that's green, that's blue, that's white. They're all pre-wired. You can move these at any angle, so we can get any angle on them you want. The controller is in the bar, so my old dad with his pin spots, uh, he used to have to run wires off the controllers and all kinds of things. No, you just plug this in and it will work on its own. It produces a big fat beam of light so really, I've got to be honest, you're going to need a room with smoke or haze in it. Put smoke or haze with this, and the programming and the brightness of it makes it look stunning. It's got a hanging bracket, so we can hang it up. What we've done in the showroom, I liked it that much, we've put two up. And we've put them right up in the rafters across the roof of the lighting showroom. So what we're going to do is we're going to fill the room full of light, uh, full of smoke, and um, we're going to put this on and let you have a look at it. I just want a couple of specs, which I'll have to read off the box. Right, it has got... These are three watt LEDs in there. Now, that doesn't sound like a lot, but when, I think when you see this on, you will be suitably surprised. You can run the master and slave, that's what we've done in the shop. So we've got two up on the ring and we've just connected them together with DMX cable, very, very simply. You can... there's a... A connection on the back to put a UC3 controller in there, so a very simple control. DMX. Let's see how many channels DMX. We've got a beam angle of 3.4 degrees, so it's very tight, but you'll see when we put the light on that, that beam travels. It's, it, it looks really, really good. Uh, DMX, I just want to know what the channels of DMX are. Uh, it's not going to tell me. Uh, three operation modes. Channels of DMX, we've got 1, 8, or 10. So, you're going to be able to control this by DMX, not a problem. It only weighs 3.5 kilo, so it's nice and light. It's got a hanging bracket on the back here. This is metal construction. DMX in, DMX out. Power link in here. And we've got our menu, electronic menu here. Uh, the digital display so you can see where you're at. I'm going to take some, some photos. And then we're going to put it up and we'll let you have a look. I didn't like it, but now I've eaten my words. It's mint, I love it. The Octobeam RGBW from American DJ.
there you go. Two of them right up in the rafters, that's really, really high up there. Um, two American DJ Octa beams. I think they look absolutely stunning. That beam of light is really, really bright. Very, very impressed with that. If you want some more information, click the link in the description to this video. And it'll take you through to our website and it'll tell you all about pricing, specs, and all the things I forgot to tell you. That's the American DJ Octa beam. It's Michael Phase One. <laughs>